YouTube. What's up, it's your boy 360GZ, and I just got something in the mail. But uh, we're gonna get into this unboxing real quick. Let's show you guys. Call me 290 Krills, y'all. <laughs> You know, when you're friends with a waiver, try to get you, you can get the Britney, but the Britney not add nothing. It's the Dayone. Diane, man. Diane. Diane, Dayone, Dayone, man. Stupid. He is not a real waiver at all. We all know he is not a real waiver. YouTube, what's up, it's your boy 360 Jeezy, and yes, as y'all know, I got these brushes in the mail, well, not this one, got a little lint in it, hold on, let me, let me get that out, this brush right here, I've been had, it's my Diane 8119 Mahogany, y'all know, y'all see, if y'all watch my previous videos, y'all would know, but these are the brushes that I got in the mail, alright, you got your new school Diane OG though, alright, let me say that again, New school Diane, but it's an OG though. All right, the, the bristles on it are wide. And these are the regular Lado brushes, Lado Pro brushes. Both of these are the same. Let me put this one down. We're gonna get into the differences on these brushes, all right? So uh, yeah, these are both mediums. So uh, yeah, you guys stay tuned, huh? So uh, what are you guys doing here? What are you guys doing here? It's getting a little awkward here. All right, you guys do what you want. Okay. All right, YouTube. When you're feeling these brushes, Diane on this side, Lado on this side. When you're feeling these brushes, they feel about the same. But the only difference, the only difference is, is that when you brush with one of these, this Lado Pro brush, it gets down to your scalp. It really gets down further to your scalp than this one does but that depends on what you're using the brushes for like if you're woofing you want to use this brush right here because at longer length it gets your hit it gets the bristles get all the way down to your scalp to where it pulls your hair this one right here it feels like it gets down to the scalp but not when I'm woofing I'm not saying that this is a bad brush I'm not saying this brush is any better. I'm just giving you guys the difference in these brushes. I use this brush right here, my mahogany one. I use this one here, and I use it as a soft brush because for some reason, the mahogany brushes, the bristles on them, they're more, they're more softer than the regular kind. Like both of these, like this is way more firmer than this mahogany one. But I use this one on a fresh cut. I go in on a fresh cut y'all know me i go in on a fresh cut and i'm definitely using this one as a fresh cut brush now when it comes to wolfing you about bad i don't need no hard brush really all i need is this one right here to lay my stuff down and to get under the new waves that's starting to create when your hair grows you know what i mean so these brushes are good brushes you know Y'all definitely know where you could get them at. Hit the link in the description bar below. And make sure you go out and buy this Diane 8119. It's not really a Diane 8119, hold on. It's a DBB107. All right, but it's a Diane 8119, basically, that's all it is. It's a Lado Pro. I already know, I've been talking about it. I love this brush. But with these brushes, they're different. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Make sure you like this video if you found it, you know, to be interesting and good. You know, about to do a quick brush session real quick on both of these. So yeah, you tell me which brush you like. 